how to open Stripe account for dropshipping. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can open or uh, sign in for an account within Stripe for dropshipping. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to stripe.com and this is the platform. Stripe is a getaway or a payment getaway that will allow you to collect some uh, payments and benefits from your business on the internet and it is very easy and has a lot of features that you are going to uh, benefit from such as invoices and also checkout pages and a lot more now we are on the platform simply we are going to click on start now to create an account with this set it will be taking you to the register platform. Here we have the email, create your Stripe account, full name, country, and password. I am going to set an email right there, my full name, and also my password. Right there, we are going to select any email. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, phone numbers, are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. For the full name, I'm going to put here Jack Smith. On the country, you are going to select your country that you have or you are in and simply go ahead and make it. Now, I'm simply going to select any country and put the password that I want. For example, this is the password that I am going to put it. And here you can go ahead and put get emails from Stripe our product updates. And this is not necessary. I'm going to click on create an account and we are going to proceed to the next step. It will be demanding you to verify the email that you have set. Simply go to your Gmail and verify that email. You can go ahead and open the Gmail or if you don't receive the email, simply click on resend. After you have verified your email, you are going to see directly the dashboard of Stripe. We have here the payment method disabled. And to complete that or to enable that, complete your profile first. Click on complete your profile and then it will let you see the onboarding of the uh, completing the profile. Let's start with some basics. Here we have the business location. Choose your business location and the type of business. This is it. You are going to select one of these and simply click on continue. The next step is the business details. You are going to put some details such as addresses, phone numbers, last name, first name, and etc. In this case, we have the legal name. You are going to put here, for example, Jack Smith. The email, you have to confirm the email that you have set and the date of birth. Now, in the date of birth, I'm going to put here 1-1-2001, just an example. And here we have the home address, which is the United States because we have said that on the beginning. So this case is frozen. Now for the address line, you are going to put here the address. And for the street, it will be generating automatically any street that you have. Select this street and you have it. Now for the phone number, put your phone number right there. And also for the last four digits of security number, you need to put any number just like that or put your original number. In my case, I don't have a security number or a social security number. I'm simply going to let it as it is. It will follow up the United States format. Go ahead and click on continue and then you are going to see the business details. Now on the business details, we have the industry that you are going to work with. We have a lot of choices. Go ahead and choose that business or the industry. For example, I'm going to put here clothing and accessories. The business website, you can put it. It is optional if you have a Shopify store or you have a Printify also, uh, let's say, or Etsy store. Put it right there. And here we have the product description. When you finish, click on continue and you are going to see here the public details. From the statement descriptor, the business name and also the shortened descriptor it is optional here this is the preview on what is the statement descriptor 
and how it is going to be. Here we have the customer support phone number. This is a necessary thing to do. You can put your same phone number also. You can show the phone number on receipts or invoices or disable that. Now we have the customer support address. You can go ahead and put it. And here on the next step, we have the bank account details. You have to get one of these bank accounts. You can go ahead and put the verification through this platform. Choose one and simply go ahead and sign in into your account within that bank. And simply you are going to confirm that and you will be set good. Now, well, you can also enter the bank details manually instead. Here we have the secure your account. This is the third step. You can go ahead and use an authentication app, a security key or a passkey. Now we have the extras. For the extras, we have tax calculation. You can go ahead and share or select your product category right there. For example, services or digital products, for example, or also tangible goods and click on continue and you will see the climate contributors. You can set your climate contributors and set, for example, or continue with 1%, 1.5 or 0 0.5. Or you can go ahead and skip this to no thanks. And finally, we are going to set here the summary or see the business info that we have set. You have everything will finish right there. This is the summary or the review. When you finish all of this, you are going simply to click on agree and submit. After you have set everything, you will be guided to the dashboard again. And from that dashboard, you are going to see the payments. For example, we have here the payments, the billing, the reporting, and everything. You can also set manually the product within Stripe by simply going to the product catalog. And from here, you are going to create a invoice or a payment for that catalog or these products. For this, you are going to set some invoices, for example, for clients for doing services. This is uh, going to the drop servicing. And also, you can go ahead and set the products right there, add the photos of these products, and also get a customizable checkout. When you finish this, all you have to do is to integrate Stripe into the platform that you are going to work with and make the drop shipping to receive the payment, such as Shopify. Shopify is a store that will allow you to create a website containing the products and also making the integration between Stripe and the store itself. All you have to do is to go on Shopify, sign into your account and go to the settings. And now we are going to set payments, click on payments. And finally, we are going to see all other providers. When you set that, you are going to see Stripe as a payment method. You can go ahead and click on confirm, connect your Stripe account, and you will be good to go. Here we have the Stripe demanding to be installed and connected to your Shopify. After you have set that, you will be receiving the payments and getting the payments to your bank directly. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.